good evening everybody sorry for my tardiness there was a technical difficulty but i am nia cole with my son turner and movement for christ um this is episode three of our facebook of our live series behind the scenes um just a little background um i've been singing with the group for about since about last october i was kind of new i was kind of scared i'm kind of like a shy person but i was able to you know get with the group and i've just loved it ever since been going been faithful and everything Uh, my son is a really great leader i appreciate everything he does for us he's a very encouraging young man and i'm just excited for what god has in store for our group so on to my testimony um my testimony is I'm finally able to have a relationship with God one-on-one. Um, I feel like when we're younger and just going to church, we don't really think of it as, oh, we really need to have a relationship with God. We just, we're going to church. Our parents make us go. You know, my grandfather was a pastor, deacons, all of that. You're very involved with church, but um, the issue with a lot of us growing up is we don't really have that experience with God. So now I'm at the I'm I just turned 22 a few weeks ago, and I can finally say I'm really at the point where I have a solid relationship with God. Um, going back in time, just a little little explanation. Um, when I was graduating high school, the transition from high school to college was, you know, a little rocky for me. I was dealing with some situations, going away to school, then changed my mind, trying to be young and have my young mind and decisions, but, you know, stuff didn't work out. and. I was just really doubting God. I said, why, God? Why is this happening? Why is my family going through this? Why am I going through this? Why are these things happening to me? You know, just really questioning God. And really, it was almost an everyday thing because I was in church every day almost. Bible study, dance, choir rehearsal, praise team, everything you could think of almost. Ushering, everything. So, I was... A believer of God but I was not really a faith doer I wasn't really living my life like I was a Christian I wasn't really you know talking to God like I was supposed to I was just you know praying here and there not even really thinking about things in the Christian realm of it I was just being a a young person in church going because my parents told me to go because that's all I knew so um, a situation happened I was in a you know in high school in a little relationship and I just really was questioning God like why would God put this person in my life why would God let this happen to me why would God allow me to go through these negative things And I never really thought about what I did. I was always just blaming God. God did this. God did that. Why should I believe in God? Because he hasn't did this for me. He hasn't did that. Comparing myself to other people and things like that. And it just... I just wasn't really a Christian, a believer, I would say. And now, I'm just looking back at me, you know, being a young teenager and just really thanking God for keeping me as long as he's kept me and sparing my life and really allowing me to go through these situations so I can come out greater, stronger, a better person and able to really tell my story. I'm honestly like really nervous right now because I don't really talk in front of a lot of people. I talk around kids. That's my job. I'm a teacher. But, you know, to like just speak my testimony and speak the things that I've been through I haven't really done that this is a first for me so thank you my son for you know putting me on the spot because I feel like it needs to be said um I really was feeling like I didn't have a testimony necessarily or that I didn't have a story to tell that people would care about or you know really think 
is a story because I haven't had any like near-death experiences or anything like super super serious that's serious to other people but it's serious to me so I prayed and prayed and prayed to God when my son told me like okay you're gonna go next I prayed to God and I was like okay God what am I gonna say how am I gonna say it I'm nervous but this is it I'm finally over questioning God and I'm really happy about it because God is a very powerful God, and, you know, he already knows what's going to happen before we ever know it, like, ever in life, and so I just really thank God for allowing me to still be here and to be in my right mind, because God could have been like, okay, she's not a believer, let me go ahead and put her over here with those people who don't, you know, so... That's one testimony I want to share. It's pretty big. Um, another story going off of it. Um, when I was in high school, I lost two people that were really close to me. And I blamed God for that. I said, God, you took these two people that are the closest to me. I'm really close to them. And you took them out of my life. You're allowing me to go through a depression. You're just not there when I need you so there was really a time when I stopped believing in God not even really knowing that he put me in those situations and he was with me the whole way because when people go through a a depression that's like a really hard thing I've had people very close to me go through depression some of them got out of it some of them didn't and I went through a depression and I, I didn't take any medicine for it I didn't really talk to anybody. I didn't go to therapy. I didn't do anything. I coped with myself. But that was a time when I really should have been coping with God. I stopped going to church. I stopped going to Bible study. I was really upset. And I just really had to realize now that I'm older that God puts you in situations just to test you, to see how you're going to react to see what you're going to do, to see the other test that he can put you through and how you're going to accept the test and if you're going to pass or if you're going to fail. So I feel like this all, me doubting God, me going through my situations and stuff like that, all of that, I feel like that was God testing me. And now I'm here. Now I'm successful. I'm blessed beyond measures. Everything's not perfect in my life. But like I said, I feel like I didn't even have a testimony. I didn't even have a story to tell. And I'm here telling a story. So God put that put me through that test just so I can be here to share this story with you guys. Um, and back to the subject, just one more short snippet of it. Um, When I was graduating high school, I was going through a lot of family issues, and this was all going on right when I was about to graduate high school, on the transition to me going to college, and getting my first few jobs, and everything, everything just got packed into one, and I was just so overwhelmed. And I'm kind of an emotional person, but I really wear a hard shell, so... It really broke me down. There was really many nights that I cried myself to sleep. I was unable to sleep. I thought I could do other things to help me deal with the depression and me being upset and me dealing with things. But that landed me in the hospital. I had to stay in the hospital for a few days. I fainted, was in the hospital. I went to the hospital. I'm like, okay, doctors, what's going on? They said, because you were doing X, Y, and Z, You know, you could have had a heart attack. You could have had a stroke. You could have died. But you only fainted and you were able to make it here. You don't need any prescriptions. You don't need anything like that. You can just walk home, go freely. And I was just sitting there crying because that was probably the exact point when I knew 
that God was real and I knew that God favored me one more time because I could have been dead. God could have just let me go. I could have had a heart attack at the age of 20 and just dealt with that at a young age, at a young age, but God really spared my life again and again and again. So I feel like I have a testimony. I feel like I'm very blessed. I really am very blessed because there's so many people going through so much stuff in the world and I just I'm here today. I can smile. I'm a person who never really smiled like that. I smile so much. And, yeah, I'm going through a few things, but I'm young. Like I said, I'm only 22 years old. And there's times when I'm upset, then I have to remember, you have God on your side. There's times when I feel like I'm so alone. I have been lost friends and a lot of stuff, but... I smile through it because I have God. I have God with me right now in the car. I'm so nervous speaking. But I already know God is with me. God is holding my hand this whole way. God is allowing me to be able to share this. So I just, my advice to give everybody would be, whenever you're feeling alone or you feel like you have nobody, you're feeling depressed, you feel like you don't know what to do, just pray. Pray, pray, pray. If you don't know how to pray, I tell my dancers all the time, have a conversation with God. Let him know how you're feeling. Let him know, you know, anything that you want to say, because he's an understanding God. He will be there for you at your lowest points. And if you just pray and have faith and be patient, God will put you right where you need to be in the nick of time, right when you feel like you're on edge, like you're just about to go over, like you have no reason to live. He'll be there for you. And I know a lot of people in church, pastors say this all the time, but you really have to know God for yourself. And you really will learn that personally. And if you don't have a relationship with God, in this day and age, you really have to get one because there's so much crazy stuff going on in this world. For young people, there's people dying all the time, police brutality, everything, anything that you can think of. You're going to need God. You're going to need Jesus. You're going to need your mind to be sane. So you need to have a personal relationship with God because you can do all things through him and that's pretty much it my testimony my part one I said I wasn't going to do a part two but I am going to do a part two because I feel like I can do it I feel like God is telling me right now in this moment on this live that I have more of a story to tell I have a part two to tell and I'm back in my head. I'm like, no, I have nothing to say. But thank you so much for watching my live. I know it wasn't as long. But in my short snippet, I feel like I said all I could say for my little bit. I will have my part two, like I said again. Um, I'll just say Friday. Same time, 7 o'clock. I will be on time. No technical difficulties. Again, go like our page. My Son, Turner, and Movement for Christ. There's events on there that we'll be singing at. We would love for you to support us. We're just an up-and-coming group trying to spread our love for Jesus and show everybody that there is still a way to praise God in this day and age where you don't necessarily have to be on front street there it's okay to sometimes you know be in the back be underground because no praise is too small god hears everything and sees everything so i'm nia cole thank you all for watching my live subscribe to our youtube 
like our page, share my life, and thank you. Have a great night.